Okay, more fun on the carver here. I have not installed the capacitors yet. Or the um, output transistors, but I was just going around. Uh, I was going to check the driver transistors and whatnot because I don't want to go changing the outputs and have a faulty driver transistor to boot. Um, what else did I want to mention? I looked into the power supply board and these components over here on this regulator board. Where is it over here? This is nothing but an opto isolator. And there's an IC under it also. And those are just um, photocoupler transistors that power this primary of the magnetic field transformer here, but that's just a fancy word for the primary of the transformer. And that's the triac down there. So I'm learning a little more of MT1, MT2, and the gate, but I'm hoping not to get into all of that because the unit does power up okay. So I'm not... I don't think there's any problem in this area. I've tested those components. Everything seems fine over there. We have the capacitors, like I said. We'll install in there, and we have the output transistors. And it seems to be this channel here, which I don't know which one it is, one or two, this is the one that took uh, that has the most issue. All the transistors on this channel are fine. This channel here, though, we have one. I've metered them all. We have one, two, three, four shorted output transistors. That's fine. So I went on and I wanted to test some of the associated circuitry, the drivers. More importantly, I don't know what all these transistors do. I do have the schematic and I've been referencing it, but... Uh, if I don't get any shorts, I just move on. This transistor is good. It looks like a TO3 style 3055, I'm just guessing. Uh, 2N3404 2N3404, tests good. This transistor here tests fine. Um, so again, I'm looking. But I've noticed when I was in this area over here, I've noticed this, this here, this resistor here is burnt. That's a 56 ohm. And it's coupled to the junction of this 33 ohm and this 910 ohm white brown brown. Uh, this one tests okay. This one's shorted and the resistor is smoked. So I looked into that a little bit. That's an M Motorola MPS U60. That's this transistor right here. Comes off of the 77 volt and it's not the 910 and the 33 ohm resistors are here, but the um, the 56 is not. So they've taken these two resistors and a capacitor and fed them to, to the 76 through a 56 ohm. Probably to sacrifice it. I don't know. But anyway, the resistor that's not in the diagram here is open. And this transistor here on the 76 volt side is shorted, which feeds down here. I'll check these transistors later, but I think they're fine. Still confusing these um, OC1, they call one DC1 for the triac, and I'm not getting into that right now. But uh, as I said, that's this transistor right here, Q13. The These two resistors are present, but they're tied to a 56 ohm, paralleled with a capacitor going to the uh, pin 14 which is the 76 volt line. So, um, we'll scour up one of these, MPSU60. That's a high voltage transistor. I have it up over here. It looks like that. It looks like that and, oh, the data sheet's right here. They're pretty high, pretty high voltages there, 300, 350, 500 milliamp. So uh, that's where we'll stop. We're going to replace that transistor in the 56 ohm that's not in the diagram. But everything else checks good, and we're getting closer to powering this thing up because I want it off the bench. There are some other things we picked up that I want to get into, and I want to repair one more set and I want to um, get onto that RCA 17 inch and we've got other things in the meantime so the fun continues here thanks for watching